This is ABC. Saturday mornings, it's all happening right here. Ooh, humor. With my radical face. No, 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 no. From outer space. Orbits in the Saturday mornings for the first time. And look who's back together. Bonnie. See Fonz and Mr. Cool. Sign up yeah. with that team in green. Watch the leather guys. On Saturday. They're all coming at you September 25th. With me, Pac-Man. On Pac-Man Day. breakfast. Waffle O's cereal. Maple flavor and blueberry flavor. Gotcha. Superman! Wonder Woman! Batman and Robin! Aquaman! Black Vulcan! Samurai! Apache Chief! Together they form the world's greatest force of good ever assembled. Dedicated to truth, peace, and justice for all mankind. These are the Super Friends. We'll return after these messages. Isn't Barbie ready? Ken's been waiting for hours. What's from Ken doll sold separately? It's her hair. Here's Magic Girl Barbie. Barbie likes it curly. Ken likes it straighter. With Magic Miss Solution and lots of brushing, you can change Magic Girl's hair as often as you like. We've changed it ten times, and she wants it curly again. Better fix Ken's sandwich. <laughs> Magic Girl Barbie doll. Magic Miss Knots are used on other Barbie dolls. Western Ken dolls sold separately from Mattel. Hey, kid, what do you want? Yum. What's that? You want gum? Yum. How about this bubble yum? Hmm. Says super yum. This must be new. Bubble yum, huh? Looks good. Maybe I'll try a piece. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, kid. Thank you. Bubble yum, bubble gum. It's a super yum. We now continue with the Super Friends. Tomorrow at 7, 6 Central to Mountain, join host Jack Palance for all new stories of the unique, unusual, and unexplained. You won't believe what you see on the season premiere of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Monday, meet a woman who is buried alive and learn about a couple who became overnight millionaires on the season premiere of That's Incredible. Now stay tuned for the Pac-Man Little Rascals Richie Rich Show. Morning, kids. It's a Pac-Man day with my crispy corn cereal coming your way. It's with marshmallows. Delicious. I'm Inky. I'm Blinky. I'm Pinky. I'm Fly. With the marshmallows, you'll find inside of Pac-Man. There goes a cat pup. Oh. And Inky, too. Mm -hmm. He's Marshmallow. You can chop him, too. It's Part of this nutritious breakfast. It's Pac-Man. With marshmallows. Delicious. First the Pac-Man eats through a maze of dots Then the Pac-Man heads for the corner spot Then he eats his fill Of a power pill And then all those ghosts turn blue Boo! And Pac-Man eats them all too Have you played Pac-Man? It's the new video computer game everyone's talking about And naturally, it's from Atari Have you played Atari today?
get. You're never gonna know till you've met. This young boy is rich as a name. That rich, richie rich. Just imagine. Dazzle, Crystal, and Diamond Dolls from the Dazzle and her friends collection. Each sold separately from Mattel. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Introducing Pac-Man, a new board game from MB Games. You control your Pac-Man as it gobbles up marbles and piles up the points. But watch out for the ghosts. You can move it in or out of the maze or back in as long as you. Gobble, gobble, gobble! And the one who gobbles up most wins. And look out for Frogger, Donkey Kong, Zaxxon, Berserk, and Defender. And of course, Pac-Man from MB Games. to be caught without my power pellets. All I've got are these super instant cactus seeds. Instant cactus seeds. <laughs> that gives me a great idea. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's what you get for being a thorn in my side. isn't going to be another one of those picnics. I'm going to play a little frisbee with Chom Chom. Have fun. Your power pellet burgers won't be ready for a few more minutes. Okay, Chom Chom. Catch. No, Chom Chom. No. Uh. All right, Chomp Chomp. This time, don't eat it. Fetch it.
there's nothing like a ghost picnic after a hard day's work chasing Pac-Man. Hey, Clyde, how about a barbecued Pac-Man cake? They look just like Pac-Man. Only they don't taste as good as he does. No, thanks. I like chomping on the real thing. I said I don't want no pancakes. That ain't no pancake, Clyde. It's a flying dorsal, a slime flosser. It's a... <laughs> you silly jerks. This is a frisbee. Give me that. I'll get rid of it. Bad back dog. Bad back dog. That's Pac-Man's little mutt. Then that means Pac-Man must be nearby. Yeah, and I know just how to spoil his picnic. Now listen. <laughs> Great idea, Clyde. <laughs> One, two, three. No. <laughs> Here, boy. Okay, Pack Mutt, bring us back to your master. <laughs> this is gonna work like a charm. Uh oh! Oh! Great idea, Clyde. Real great. <laughs> Why that little? Pac-Man is gonna pay for this. Hey, those Pack burgers are ready, Pepper. I'm starved. Here you are, Packy. A double power pellet burger. Oh, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Bad, Chomp Chomp. Oh, come on, you've got your own power pellet chow. <laughs> Bad, Pack Dog. I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Well, now you stay in there till I'm done with lunch. There they are. I got a little surprise for them. Uh, what is it, Clyde? It's a pack ant hill ant brain. You just pour a trail of honey to Pac-Man's picnic spot, and they'll be itching for the next six months. Start pouring, Inky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which way is it to Pac-Man anyway? Oh no! It's a real pack, baby. And hopefully Dada will catch a real big fish fish. Uh-oh. Was that a bite? In that case, I'd better reel it in. Big chomp chomp spit that out. Bearing zero degrees marked, 100 feet and closing. But if shark fin will scare the pack pants off a of pac man and his family. Do I have to wear that? <laughs> okay, but I feel like a blithering idiot. Idiot bloody up uh, an idiot. And you look like one. Now get going. <laughs> Any second. Two of them! 
Let's have that drill. Sinking this pack boat should spoil their little picnic. Yay! Yay! We'll fix that no good pack rat. Right. All we gotta do is give a yank on his line, and when he pulls us up, Champo! Hey, I got something! <laughs> Any minute now, and it's gonna be Chomp City! Clyde! Not now, I'm getting ready to Chomp Pack! But Clyde, there's something I think you ought to know! What is it? I think he's getting ready to Chomp us! Hey, Pepper! I think I just caught Pack Jaws! Aha! Try to get out of that one, Pepper. Pack me! I win! Now, now go fly, Kai! Okay, Pack Baby. <laughs> Not bad, huh, little co-pilot? <laughs> chocolate chips. And more chocolate taste in every cookie. Wow, more than ever before. New front page. Extra, extra. Bring more chocolate taste. It's Chips Ahoy from Nabisco. Stomper SSE Super Cycles. Cycles with the speed you power with a quick pull of the ripcord. You can race them with a friend. Or you can set up your own action stunt course, indoors or out. The Stomper SSC Super Cycles are cycles with speed. Stomper SSC Super Cycles, available in six models, each sold separately from Shopper. Well, 
well, a little demon in diamonds. Okay, let's play demons to diamonds. Huh? Demons to diamonds is an Atari video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Atari video computer system. Your parents hook it up to the TV. Those are supposed to be the demons that turn to diamonds when you hit them with your laser. I've got all the diamonds. Now you can put these back. This is the Atari video computer system. Demons to Diamonds and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. Good. Follow me. Yeah, I don't get it, Clyde. How are we gonna get to the power forest from here? Simple, Sponge Brain. This water tower is the one they use to pump water to the power pellet trees. All we gotta do is get into that tank, and when they water the power forest, we'll be sucked right to it. All right, suit up. <laughs> Last one in's a rotten ghost monster. A second thought, last one in is a good looking, intelligent, lovable idiot. They're all through watering at the power forest. It'd be better divert the water somewhere else. We're coming to the end of the pipe. Get ready. Would you believe the Pacadile cage at the Pacland Zoo? Mm -hmm. ah, normally I wouldn't feed the animals, uh, but today I think I'll make an exception. Our emergency red cords. Please have mercy on me. I'll do better than that. I'll have mustard on you. Say hello to Mezzy Baby for me. My fault. The whole thing. Every last mistake. All mine. Shut up! I'm tired of you fools always ruining my plans. This time I'm going to find the power forest myself. I'll be ready to go professional, huh? Pat on! Pretty soon you'll be ready for another job if you don't get back to work. Oh, I'm on my way, Grump. And Pac-Man always playing. Uh, I forgot my hat. I'm getting closer. You hear that, man? We're getting closer. Hey, Tula Pet, go on out there and do some scouting. Aye, aye, Clyde. Oh, a power pellet bush. Hey there, little fella. Where's your papa? Uh oh, the mesmograph is picking up some bad vibrations. I better sound the alarm. Red alert, red alert. 
All hands, man your power pellet stations. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Sounds like an alarm. Quick, before it's too late. Uh, looking for something? Pac-Man! Get him! Oh, want to play rough, do you? Charge! Company! Hold! And shoot! Ready? Aim! Jump! Chuckle goose monsters to your little heart's content. I'll fix you. This is Security Chief Pac-Man. Send in the pac paratroopers. Go! Stop! Get away from me! Ha! Ah, think they can chomp me and get away with it, do they? I think we've been hanging around Mesmeron too long. We're starting to look like him. Get out of my clothes, you nitwits! We're going back to find the power forest. But how are you going to sneak up on it without getting detected? Very simple. I'm going to tunnel under Patland. Tunnel under Pac-Land? What brainless jerks are you gonna get to do an impossible job like that? You! Hurry it up, Pinky! We ain't got all day! If I go any faster, I'll rattle myself to the beat. Couldn't you make this tunnel any bigger? This power pellet finder's going crazy! Crazy nothing! It's a genius! Look! Look! Oh, boy! Let's make some root beer. This ain't no time for soda, jerk. That's a power pellet tree we struck it rich. Oh, in that case, we ought to have a look. A periscope. We did it. It's a power pellet tree, all right. Are they ever in for a big surprise? We just stand like a bunch of dummies. Dig a hole up to the power forest. You heard him, Pinky. Start digging. Gosh, I think we blew it. I'm not mistaken. I see that paranoid pack punk is directly above. Yay! Yay! It's Pac-Man! Get him! Well, excuse me! Little Pac-Man had to scram! So he would not get one. But everywhere that pac ran... The ghost monsters chomped and chomped! Ooh! Ha-ha! <laughs> we got him! Citizens of Patland, you have exactly one minute. Tell me the location of the power forest, or I destroy your fair city. Don't anybody tell him. Pac-Man will save us. I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> Stop! I'll tell you where it is. Pepper, don't! Well, it seems that Ms. Pac-Man is the only sensible one around here. And no tricks, sweetie, or we'll start jumping. There it is. At last, I found the power bombings. Zillions and zillions of power pellets and all mine. They're all yours, all right. But they're not power pellets. They're black hornets. No, get away. Oh. Now for some power pellet pepper upper punch. Mm, I feel like a new man, a new 
Pac-Man, that is. Come on, thinking he think. Gotta get out of here fast. I know. Search up and ghost monsters down. I think I'll hide in that hive. That looks like a good hiding place. I wonder where Sue could be. I think your hiding place just took a hike, and I'm gonna take a chop. For a minute there, I didn't think I was gonna get away. You didn't. You know what they say when in the cactus patch to like the cactuses. Huh? You better be careful of all those sharp needles. You might get stuck. Help! No! Oh, get away! Oh! Whew, that was a close one, Pat. Mesmeron almost found the power force. Nah, he didn't even come close. Their tunnels never fooled me. I was right on top of them all along. Yep, you sure are on top of them, Packy. Alert the troops! They're protecting Toothopolis with some gel. Attack! Cavity creeps! Great tasting crest gel with Floristack. You creep repelled by crest gel. Now you can get this crest team t-shirt free by mail when you buy five large tubes of crest. Details and the required certificate are available at participating stores. Offer ends November 8, 1982. Boy, do I miss civilization. You said it. All that thick, rich, delicious chocolate with a crispy crunch inside every creamy chocolate bite. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. What is it? Kit Kat. Taste you can't help but fall in love with. Mind if I try it? Help yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't you love it? Chocolatey, crispy Kit Kat. The taste you can fall in love with. crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's mini wheats, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The whole grain shredded wheat side to me is quite superior, but the light frosting pleases my girlish interior. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted mini wheat cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. For me, the manly side of mini wheats is fitting, but the frosting's good too, and I'm not kidding. You can draw most anything, most anywhere, most anytime, with your Skiddle. You can stop a drawing in one place, start it again in another. You can make a great design on draw whatever comes to mind. Oh, it's Skiddle, and you can draw most anything, most anywhere, most anytime, with your Skiddle. Skiddle comes with 12 different design discs from Hasbro. Now I have a friend named Rufus Xavier Sasparilla, and I could say that Rufus found a kangaroo that followed Rufus home, and now that kangaroo belongs. To Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla. I could say that, but I don't have to. Cause I got pronouns I can say. He 
find a kangaroo that followed him home and now it is his. You see, huh? He him and his our pronoun replacing the noun. Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, a very proper noun, and it is a pronoun replacing the noun. Kangaroo. How come? has a sister named Raffaella Gabriella Sasparella. If she found a kangaroo, I'd say to you, she found a kangaroo that followed her home, and now it is hers. But I can't say that, because she found an odd bar that fell in love with her, and they're so happy. And my name's Albert Andrea Samadilla, no relation to the Sasparellas. Because of pronouns, I can say, I wish she would find a rhinoceros for me, and we'd be happy. You see, a pronoun was made to take the place of a noun. Cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. Now I can tell you Raffaella, Gabriella, and Rufus Xavier Sasparilla, and Albert Andrea Tomadilla found an art bark, a kangaroo, and a rhinoceros. And now that art bark and that kangaroo and that rhinoceros belong respectively to Raffaella, Gabriella, Sasparilla, and Rufus Xavier Sasparilla, and Albert Andrea Tomadilla. Because of pronouns, I can say in this way, we found them and they found us, and now they are ours, and we're so happy. Thank you, pronoun. You see, a pronoun was made to take the place of a noun, cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. We take them all on the bus. People really raise a fuss. They start shouting out a lot of pronouns at us, like, Who brought that rhinoceros on this bus? And what made that horrible noise? And which one of them getting off first? Who, what, and which has special pronouns that can ask a question in a sense where you do not know the name of the noun? But I know I have mine and she has hers. And he has his, and you have yours. They love us and we love them. But Taj is theirs, that's how it is with friends. And pronouns, you are really friends, yeah. Cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. And now, this message. Vanessa, should I wear my blue or my gold? Either way, you'll be the belle of the ballet, and you'll be the star of the show. Aaron in Fancy Fiesta in Gold and Glitter, Vanessa in Sky Blue and Ballerina Blush, all sold separately. See you later. They've got flair. They're glamour gals with gorgeous hair. you love the fun of the more than one of these little glamour gals. Aaron in Fancy Fiesta and dolls and other outfits, each sold separately from the Glamour Gals Collection from Kenner. He throws out his little black book when he finally meets the woman of his dreams. But is he the man for her? Watch the new season premiere of Happy Days. Then Shirley's day has finally arrived. She's getting married and the groom's all wrapped up in the funniest wedding of the year on the new season premiere of Laverne and Shirley, Tuesday on ABC.
great is Capri Sun. Capri Sun fruit drink in the take-along pouch. 10% fruit juice, nothing artificial. There's only one Capri Sun. It's great tasting fun when you punch open one. There's only one Capri Sun. We now return with the Little Rascal. <laughs> Sure, I'm sure. All we've got to do is check. Up with Dandy the Rection Doll. It'll tell us right where we are, which is... <laughs> Lost! Lost? I can't understand it. We took a left turn at the right fork, and a right turn at the left fork, and then we... Mm. Or did we? Oh, Alfalfa, would you carry my pack? Ready, please? Darla. Thank you, Alfalfa. Thank you, Alfalfa. Thank you, Alfalfa. Alfalfa. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, 
Last one in is a... Um, is a loan. with 
Ne Is there? Just in case you need it. You really need it. You really need it. You really need it. You really need it. Okay, men, it's us against them. Another club has challenged us to play this centipede. Introducing a challenging video game from Atari. Video console sold separately and hooked up by an adult. Russo, centipede's a fast game. Lots of spiders and scorpions. How fast are the fleas? This is gonna be fun. Uh-oh. Centipede video game cartridge from Atari. Video console sold separately and hooked up by an adult. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thanks, Easter Bunny. M&M's Chocolate Candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Thank you, Bunny! Boop, boop. When you're feeling bored or blue, watch out for the munchies. They find ways of making you munch when you're not hungry. Here, munch this. Here, munch that. Oh, and you're not just bored, you're fat. <laughs> you want to find stuff to do, get munching off your mind. Soon you'll see you're feeling great with the munchies left behind. Watch out for the munchies. Another nutritional message from the ABC Television Network. Friday. Please snuggle with you. Sure, sweetheart. <laughs> there's some new kids in the block. <laughs> and there's plenty to smile about when they steal your heart. An electrifying night of television with the Riddle family. Stop the house, I want to get off. The fun multiplies on Baby Makes Five. Then Baker's lovesick over an officer. What we have transcends rank. At ease. This is ABC. Richie Rich is his name. He's written 
Master Richie, for trusting them to my memory. That's okay, Cadbury. If there's anyone we trust, it's you. Vault number 100. Open the goldfish pond safe. <laughs> the combination to this vault is voice activated, Dollar. Show him, Cadbury. Roses are red, violets are blue, goldfish will open the vault for you. Terrific, Cadbury! You've memorized every one of our hundred vault combinations. Take the rest of the day off and enjoy yourself. Thank you, Master Richie. I shall. <laughs> That's what you think, Cadbury! <laughs> <laughs> and Professor Ransom Rancid, the world's most expert kidnapper, has escaped from Richville Prison. Oh, no! Professor Ransom once kidnapped Cadbury to get our vault combinations. Come on, we've got to keep an eye on Cadbury in case Ransom tries again. Shh! Cadbury likes privacy. Thank you, Jeeves. We have the day off. What would you like to do? I say, Master Cadbury, I've always wanted to try Master Richie's amusement park. So be it. You don't have to ride it if you're frightened, Jeeves. But I've always wanted to try Master Richie's super roller coaster. Just in case, Professor Ramson. Boy, I'm glad you're okay, Cadbury. Cadbury? Who's Cadbury? Who are you? Who's he? Gosh, do you have amnesia? Amnesia? Who's she? Something's fishy. Our roller coaster couldn't have collapsed by itself. It was the sturdiest in the world. There, there, Cadbury. Irona's chicken soup will fix you up. Hello, Irona. Mmm, your soup's great. I feel great. Hello, Master Richie, Dollar. Your memory. You got it back. Memory? Why, did I lose it? Then you remember the list of safe combinations. List? Safe combinations? What list? What combination? That's strange. He knew the combinations perfectly just an hour ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Here, Cadbury, my list of safe combinations. You'll have to memorize them again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Master Richard. <laughs> the tiny TV camera my fake Cadbury installed in Richie's ceiling is giving me all his safe combination. Cad, you'll never succeed in your evil plan of substituting my double. <laughs> There's no way I can fail! <laughs> Thank you, Master Richie. I just remembered all the combinations. Now I wish to take a walk and get some air. And make my escape. There's something funny about Cadbury, and I've got a plan to find out what. Uh, one second, Cadbury. It's time for Dollar's bath. Uh, yes, Master Richard. Dum dum, what are you doing in my laundry room? I gave Dollar his bath, and in his own bathroom. The jig's up, Fake. The real Cadbury knows Dollar has his own bathroom. I got suspicious when you held the combination list at arm's length. The real Cadbury has perfect vision. I'll bet you had a hidden camera to photograph it. <laughs> Where's the real Cadbury? You'll never catch me, kiddo. That's what you think, crooko. Huh? Help! Tell me where the real Cadbury is or my robot will let go. The warehouse on Waterfront Street next to Sailor's Alley. But you'll never get past the guards. That's what you think. I know how to get past a hundred guards. Hi. Hi, Bruno. You did good. Professor Ranson is waiting for you. Welcome home, my fake Cadbury. You did well. <laughs> Not your fake Cadbury. But the real Richie Rich and the real Dollar. Richie Rich. Right. You had a fake butler before, but you're no match for my miniature butler. I say, Master Richie, 4 p.m., time for your afternoon iced tea snack, which I shall get post haste. It's sure great to have the real Cadbury back. He's the best butler in the whole world. Here's your mask, Richie, and remember to disguise your voice. Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, yes, sir. And now, panel, our mystery guest. Are you in show business? Nope. Are you a sports figure? Nope. But where do I get my glasses? My opera glasses, that is. Ah, it's Richie Rich. Gee, how did she know? <laughs> I love that peanutty smell. What you eating, Luke? What you call it? What do you call it? What you call it? I mean, what's its name? I told you the name. It not. Did too. You said what you call it? That's right. What do you call an incredibly crunchy bar of thick peanutty crisp covered in Hershey's chocolate? What you call it? You can ask for it by name. Give me that. Give me what? Oh. Golden Dream Barbie. Beautiful Golden Dream Barbie doll. Hey, girls, our guests will be here soon. Quick, let's get Barbie ready. Yeah. Golden Dream Barbie has glittery, golden-colored, quick-curl hair you can style with her play curling iron. Gorgeous outfit. Sparkling jewelry. Barbie's spectacular. She's Golden Dream Barbie, Daddy. No wonder. <laughs> Golden Dream Barbie doll comes with all you see here. From Mattel. He's got lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Whoops! I'll make a wrap and float away with my lucky charms. The crunchy oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Oh, tasty! Whoops! Where are your lucky charms? Right
right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. Ready, Reggie? I usually don't allow Houndsworth to fetch sticks. We have servants for that. Don't we, Houndsworth? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, mm. Okay, Dollar. Fetch the stick. That dog with the dollar signs. That's just the look I've been searching for to put in my TV commercials. I must have a must, must, must. Dollar? On TV? Wow! Oh, boy. And now, the star of our show, here's Dollar! And the winner of the Golden Mongrel Award for the best performance by a poot in a starring role, Dollar! Have him at the TV studio tomorrow morning at 9. Uh, uh, You're right, Houndsworth. You should be the one in that commercial. And when I get done, you will be. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. All right, places, everyone. Let's get on with this. Now, this commercial is for Fleckman's Flea Collars. Dollar can handle it, sir. A flea collar commercial, huh? Good thing I brought along my instant canned flea circus. All right, fellas, fall in. Stay right there, Dollar. And remember, don't scratch. Okay, roll them. Action! <laughs> Put a Fleckman flea collar on your pooch, and he won't scratch for 90 days. Cut, cut, you can't scratch during the commercial. Dollar, no matter what happens, don't scratch. You got that? Yo, yo, no scratch. Okay, take it again. Roll him. Put a Fleckman flea collar on your pooch, and he won't scratch for 90 days. In fact, with a Fleckman collar, he won't even itch one bit. <laughs> Now, where am I going to get another dog? <laughs> dollar, whoa, Dollar, whoa, stop, Dollar. Hey, stop, you two. You can't just... Don't worry, Dollar. I'll get Professor Keen Bean's automatic back scratcher. You do the commercial, Houndsworth. I'll get rid of the rest of the fleas. Uh-oh, I forgot to put the lid back on. Oh, no, not you, too. Well, I guess Reggie and his dog got the job. They were just itching to do it. If you can say that again. All right, Dollar. Now read the eye chart. Sniff. Hmm. Read this tiny one again, please. Ruff. Sorry, Dollar. That was Sniff. That'll be fifty dollars. Huh? Well, I'll be doggone. It is rough. Let's see here. That's five, ten, fifteen. Making money must run in the family, Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Richie, your conference hall is sure well guarded. It has to be, Gloria. Dignitaries from every country are coming to attend the World Peace Conference. Look, here they come now. Wow, the real red carpet treatment. We always give our guests the green carpet treatment. The Sheik of Bananistan. Emperor Zumo Sojizawe from the Imperial Island of Guavacada. Her Royal Highness, the Queen of Plumperia. Richie, are you sure your conference hall is completely secure? 
Yes, Your Majesty. Our security system is the best in the world. No security system can keep out the great Illuso. <laughs> Are you positive it's safe, Richie? Absolutely. Watch, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richie. Now I can attend the peace conference with peace of mind. Hurry, Master Richie. All the dignitaries are already inside. Oh my gosh, Richie. It, it's impossible. All the dignitaries have disappeared. Someone's been able to break through our security system. We've got to find the dignitaries, and fast! Yeah, yeah, har, har. Me, me, har, har. Someone's rigged this place for dignitary napping. Don't pull those wires, Dollar, or you activate the system! Come on, we've got to save him. This must be the old tunnel. <laughs> the leaders of the entire world are in my power, at last. <laughs> what do you want with us? You will unanimously elect me president of the world. Never! You have no choice. My laser wand will zap you into zombies. And I have a plan to make you do everything I demand. <laughs> <laughs> It's Richie Rich's meddling mutt. My famous hat trick will take care of you. <laughs> Neither Richie Rich or his dog can stop me. <laughs> Look, it's Iluso, the evil master magician. Richie Rich, <laughs> you're helpless against my laser ray. Wrong, Iluso. My diamond ring reflector will send it right back where it belongs. Ha! So long, Richie Rich. It's Dollar. It's empty. Hey, Dollar's vanished. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Dollar. Chef Pierre has dinner ready. <laughs> Car. We've got to rescue the dignitaries. <laughs> I'll fix Richie Rich so he can never follow me. My imaginary tracks will lead Richie Rich to my illusionary bridge. And when he tries to cross it, he'll have the surprise of his life. <laughs> Now to end my illusion. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bridge has vanished. It was one of Eluso's illusions. <laughs> oh, Richie, we're doomed. Uh-uh, I still have Professor Keenbean's dollar bill. What good is a dollar bill at a time like this? It'll inflate more than a real dollar. Watch. Hold on to me. <laughs> Look! It's Luso. He's escaping with the dignitaries. Oh, we'll never save them now. That's what Luso thinks. But I think it's time to fight magic with magic. <laughs> you want magic, Richie? Well, magic you'll get with the Keen Bean Magic Carpet. Mm, now, let's see. What's the magic? The magic words are... Shazam Spade. No, uh, uh, Shag Debra Warp... Oh, 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 oh. Easy, man. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, miss. Easy. Hold it, Irona. That's Professor Keenbean. Oh, sorry, Professor. Sorry. Gee, Professor, 
Your magic carpet is a bust. It'll never get us to Eluso. It will. It will. I just remembered the magic words. Is super cadabra alleget set is zippity zumba turned into a jet. Wow! That's terrific! And with your other magical gadgets, we'll find Eluso in no time. Now to locate Eluso with Keen Bean's magic crystal radar ring. That castle suspended in the clouds must be Eluso's hideout. We'll have to sneak inside and rescue the dignitaries. <laughs> you have escaped my magic for the last time, Richie Rich. <laughs> Duck! It's Eluso's laser beam, and it's emptying our gas tank. <laughs> we ever get out of here without gas? Simple. We just order a full tank. You can always count on the rich fuel flying tankers in a pinch. Look! Anti-gravity engines! That explains the magic of Luso's floating castle. <laughs> At last I have you all in my power, you dignitaries. I have planned this for years! <laughs> Gosh, Richie, look! <laughs> and now, my royal fools, you will have the privilege of being the first to be copied by my duplicating machine, Your Majesty. <laughs> and soon, at my command, your robot images will elect me ruler of the world. <laughs> so that's his evil plot. It takes a master of disguise to outsmart a master of magic. Come on, I've got a plan. We've got to sneak up, grab Aluso's laser wand, and use it to rescue the dignitaries. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm, strange little king. I don't remember seeing you before. You're Richie Rich's mangy mutt. Dollar, run for it! Fools, you will never escape Aluso's greatest trick. Soon you will be safe and sound at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Gosh, Richie, we'll never get out of this mess. Oh, yes, we will. If I can just reach my belt buckle. Super Robot. I'll yell if I need you again. No, to duplicate all my regal prisoners. <laughs> I've got to get to Eluso's laser wand. And this time the deck is stacked in our favor. Okay, surrender, Eluso. <gasps> Richie Rich, you escaped. Right, and your duplicating days are over. You may have the upper hand now. <laughs> but this should make it three times as hard to catch me. <laughs> oh, Richie, we'll never be able to tell which is the real Luso. Right, so we'll capture all three. Now to pull the rug out from under all of them. Ooh, huh? It's all your fault. No, it's your fault. Yours, 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 yours. Well, Gloria, looks like we made a clean sweep. For your service to world peace, I bestow upon you this medal of honor. Gee, thanks, Your Majesty. Let me know, Richie, if there's anything I can do for you. Well, Your Majesty, there is one thing. Dollar's been practicing and would love to show you his pull the rabbit from the hat trick. Why, I should be delighted. Everybody right is that energy divine Put us together as 
says he has long admired the fit of your Levi's jeans. Tell him it is a frequent custom to wear Levi's jeans on Earth. Denim and corduroy. It is one of the things I often miss so far from home. But I do not think the Clidian could wear Levi's jeans. Oh, Levi's. Uh, he says Clids do not exactly wear Levi's jeans. <laughs> Scouting today is a lot more than you think. It's apricot and hop salad. Oh, oh my! Have you come to share my new strawberry shortcake cereal? Indubitably! <laughs> That's very nice! It's such a pretty strawberry pink, and its crispy strawberry taste is a very good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Right! It even smells like strawberries. Outstanding! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious! My kids are wild about E.T. Now there's a whole collection of E.T. toys. This one talks. Boom. There's Elliot on his bike with E.T. And a spaceship. Here he comes. Aren't these little E.T.'s cute? Wind this guy up, he walks. Almost like the real E.T. My kids really love their E.T. toys. They actually believe E.T. lives in their closet. The E.T. toy collection from L.J.N. Thank you. Mort. Yes, your immenseness? You won't learn anything about that planet playing games. Go enroll in school. So I can learn to play games? No. I mean a regular school. Now go find yourself a place to stay and get hoppy. Just make yourself at home more. We'll return after these messages. Let's get him to leave so we can play. Bunny, want to ride my new bike? No thanks. Telephone, Bunny. Take a message, please. No one can say no to quick. Say, Bunny, want some quick? Great, I'll get it. I've got it. Oh, quick is so rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. That was good. Oh. Since you're not playing, Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to Quick. Mr. Arcade, I need help. My husband won't come home. Pac-Man, I can help. Get him, Pac-Man! Stand back. <laughs> this is the official tabletop version of Midway's Pac-Man. It looks the same. And it plays the same. Monsters, power capsules, sounds, even displays best score. And best of all... You can take Pac-Man home! Official Midway Pac-Man for one or two players. The arcade game you can take home with you from Coleco. Yes, your immenseness? You won't learn anything about that planet playing games. Go enroll in school. So I can learn to play games? No, I mean a regular school. Now go find yourself a place to stay and get hoppy. Just make yourself at home more. No work? The 
please don't drink it with your fingers. Someone might see you. Here, you're supposed to use a straw. Mm. Ooh, Earthy inventions are clever, clever. Greetings, good buddy. How about a shake? I mean, five. Slippy five, man. Um, I am, I am. Look what I am. Three freebie tickets to the circus for us. Hey, Slippy, a circus. Let's make it like a banana and split. <laughs> From a baby hibigeny can do better tricks than that. Doing, 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 uh. Habigeny? What's a habigeny? Uh, uh, oh, it's nothing, Eugene. Just Mork's funny way of talking. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, come on, doing. Let's show him what a full grown habigeny can do. <laughs> doing could be a riot. With that dog in my circus, I'll make a fortune. I've got to own him. <laughs> <laughs> him sleeping on the job. He's not sleeping, Mark. I think he's dog napping toys. And the audience thinks it's part of the end. Oh, heavy vibrations. Stop, evil person. That's my habitually. Oh, I got you. You're mine, little gold mine. All mine. Mark, you've got to do something. Come on. Call out the cavalry. Telephone Superman. John Wayne. The Empty Ark. We need all the help we can get to rescue Doing. <laughs> we got him, Boris. Tonight we move out with the greatest act in all circus history. Gee, they got Doing doing time in a slammer. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Nimno Circus Person, that's my habigeny. He may be an alien, and he may look like a krill muck, but he has a license and he has all of his crinkle shots. Mork, just tell him to let Doing out of that cage. Right again, Min. You heard my little mama. Now you have ten bleams to unlock my dog, or... He talks crazy and wears a wristwatch on his ankle. The goofball's a loony nut. Wrong, circus human. I wear an ankle watch on my ankle. If I wore an ankle watch on my wrist, then I'd be a loony nut. Throw these loony birds out and see that they don't get back in. Gotcha, boss. Mork, tell them they can't do this to you. Yeah. I'm an Orkin citizen. I demand to see an Orkin ambassador. I watched Dragnet. I know the law. You forgot to read my rights. You were standing on my left. Hey, man. We in a real fix. No way we're gonna get back in the same toy. Eugene's right, Mork. What are we gonna do? Good question, man. Good question. And we need a good answer. You got it, Eugene. I, I mean, I got it. I, I mean, we got it. We got what? We got to dress up as them berserk circus persons and sneak back in. On your toes, muscular papa. We got to keep a lookout for those three loony birds who broke in here every four, eh? You know, just where Doing is, all we got to do is head straight for his... And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, the cuckoo crazy clown! Watch it, funny face. We got a habit you need to rescue. Earthly rush hour on the subway. Oh, conductor, conductor, no. Let us help with the doing cage. Stop kidding around, Mook. We've got to get out of this mess and rescue doing. <laughs> Show business is no business for me. Come on, drawing the cage is that away. Uh oh, look who's heading this away. You there, stop loafing, get on with your act. Quick, act like a clown. That ought to be a cent for you, Mork. Yeah. Mork, you! Yipe! What are you doing? Clowning, Mork style. Uh. What kind of crummy act is that? You'll have to come up 
with something better or? Up. Yes, sir, boss. Up is coming. Right up. Or take us down. First up, then down. Somebody better make up their mind. Now that's a terrific new routine. See me after the show. You're due for a raise. And it's got to boss. Follow your leader, troops. That exit leads to Doing's cage. Retreat! Mr. Dad Boss is coming back! Quick, little mom and little munchkin duck inside that hole. Mort, are you sure that looks like a... No time for chit-chat, men. Follow me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Kevin Bowles! I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Shut up, my munchkin. I thought you said the circus was fun. It's them, the Looney Birds. Hey, Rube, hey, Rube. Rube? Who's Rube? That's circus talk, Mort. It means it's calling the cavalry. Super. Remind me to thank him. We need all the help we can get. Not the help, but Mort the in that case, we better find Doing. There's Doing! We'll never get him out before the Rubes get us. But there's an orchid. There's a way. Oh, shut but I forgot to refill my torch figure with yolk juice this morning. Look! The Rubes! They're coming! There they are! Get them! We gotta do something fast! Like split! Split? That's a super zabbity idea. You heard the man Doing? Split! Come on! Hello, boy, doing. Now squeeze to the bars. <laughs> sideways, doing. We go out sideways. <laughs> Grab him, Boris. Abandon location. Women and children have been you need first. show they call a circus. Giant animals fight in their noses, they shoot men out of cannons. And they sleep on the job. Hanging in a bar just like us organs, only they swing back and forth. Isn't that nimble? And my doing, the greatest show off on earth. Nanu, nanu. We'll return after these messages. 
Pick it up to get a drink. You really ought to stop and think about the way to quench your heavy thirst. The refrigerator is loaded, but before you grab a soda, why not try a big wet glass of water first? Oh, water is a drink that you can trust. No one's ever lost a tooth from us. So try to drink six glasses. Use the fountain between your classes. When you're thirsty, reach for water. You know you really ought to. It's the best no-calorie drink in all the world. on my Wind Raider. He-Man, Wind Raider set. Beast Man and Battle Ram, each sold separately. Run from He-Man's power. Skysley, go! Save! He-Man, Wind Raider set. Battle Ram and Beast Man from the Masters of the Universe collection. Each sold separately from Mattel. And Mindy. <laughs> Come on, Mark. We've got to study for the big final test next week. Wow. Even football ace Tyler's hitting the books. Yeah. Any complaints, nerd? No, I just hope they don't hit you back. Uh, where's that book on the history of Chinese fortune cookies? If I didn't have to study for the big test, I'd fix your good, you clumsy oaf. Oh, heavy apologies, Big Tyler. That's the last time I bring Mork and Doring to the library. Uh-oh, it's time for my meeting with that principal, Mr. Carruthers. Study hard, Tyler, or you won't be promoted. And you'll be kicked off the football team. Oh, no! Not that! Please don't bump me from the squad, Mr. Carruthers. Just keep studying for the big test. You'll have to know all these answers by next week. That will be all, Tyler. I steal them answer sheets, I pass the big test, and I'm on a football team for life! in the clear. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't warn his way out. Well, at least one good thing came of this preserved mess. I got rid of my hiccups. Be serious, Mork. What are you gonna do? I got it. I'll become a private eye to prove I'm innocent. But first, I better slip into my sleuthing outfit. <laughs> Okay, Sherlock, let's go to the scene of the crime and look for some clues. Look for clues, eh? I'll plant this phony clue to throw them nosy creeps off of my trail. Oh, wondrous moment of discovery. An honest to badness clue. It's 
an invitation to a costume party at Hamilton's. The thief might have dropped it when he bumped into you. Oh, let's crash that party and nab the sucker, men. Remember the plan, Mademoiselle Mean. We have to be the inconspicuous ones, mon petit little person. Okay, Inspector. Too slow. Oh, Mark, are you okay? Of course I'm okay, mon petit little person. I was just looking for the clues. You check the backyard, the porch, and I will look inside. Everybody's a suspect, doing. Come on, we'll search the upstairs first. <coughs> the damsel is in distress. <gasps> Hang on, madame. We will crash on the door and save the... Oh, shabbat. Oh, 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 good evening, and goodbye. Mark and Mindy fell for my false clue and came. Oh, we're in a dead-end city, men. Well, then, let's see how good a bloodhound Doing is. Take a sniff, Doing, and tell us who this invitation card belongs to. Oh. Is that him, Doing? Let's take the crew up by surprise. Stop, thief. Oh, no! You're escaping! Lend me your lasso, little mama. I'll show you why they call me Hopalong Mork. yahoo Oh, I always get my monster. Whoa! Oh, 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 stop it! Worry, men. I'll use my built-in blowtorch to get us out of here. Nice going, hot stuff. And I've got a plan to lure the thief person into a trap and capture him. Shoot on time's near, men. This is a job for Schmojack. Oh, who loves you, baby? <laughs> Paper poacher is sure to fall for this trick. Hey, look at a sky right! Attention, team! Stolen test dance is worthless. Replacement test fall ready on Mr. Carrutta's desk. Uh oh. I better get my hands on our new test dances tonight, or I'll be kicked off the team. person tries to break into Crother's office, I'll sack him. Right on, Schmojack. Not so fast. You're under arrest. Nothing. You're nothing. You're not. Now we'll see who the scoundrel is. Oh, <laughs> 
Spare me! I confess! I stole the test answers! Why'd you do it, Tyler? Because if I flunked the big test, I'd be tossed off in a football team. Oh, heavy mental anguish. But crime doesn't pay, Tyler. You're gonna have to confess to Mr. Carruthers, or... Okay, okay. You're too smart for me. I'll do it. And I'm sorry, Mr. Carruthers. It was me that stole the test dances. I'm ashamed of you, Tyler. Next year, instead of playing football, you'll spend the whole year studying. Oh, bravo, bravo. Hey, man, I told you Mr. Carruthers isn't such a bad Zelba. Uh, Mark, cool it. Come on, Tyler. Me and Min will help you study. In no time at all, you'll be as smart as I am. Nanu, nanu. We'll return after these messages. Blue bars, white stars, it's the Dukes of Hazard inside that car. This is Lou and Bo, you see, and the name of the car is the General Lee. What's going on? Bob, Bob. You can pretend Boss Hall is up to his evil ways, and it's up to Bo and Lou to save the day. Other Dukes of Hazard action figures include Daisy, Boss Hog, and Cooter, each sold separately. The Dukes of Hazard, complete with Bo, Luke, and General Lee car by Nico. How do you like my kingdom of half? It's fun. No, it'd be like best. A ride in my half balloon? No. Nope. Has to be the half day school. This is even better. Then it's halfsies, my crunchy sweet new corn and rice cereal. It's crunchy sweet, but half the sugar of most sugar coated cereals. How does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. It's Legree. No, sweet halfsies are mine. <laughs> now what? Half a car. I don't care. I'm halfway there. Half a bridge. Whoa! Nice work, kid. Anytime, King. For new halfsies. New halfsies are a crunchy sweet part of this balanced breakfast. Now you can snap together fun with a glow-in-the-dark crazy ball from Havsies cereal. Turn off the light. It wobbles. It glows. The crazy ball in specially marked boxes of new halfsies. When I was your age, Pumpkin, there were trees everywhere. But people got careless. And every year they started forest fires. And all the trees burned down. Then the birds died. Because without trees, there's no air. So everything dies. Grandpa, I wish I could bring back the trees for you. Sergeant Turnbuckle's Jeep until it sparkles. Because if it doesn't sparkle, he's gonna change his mind about lending you to the Navy for a week. Don't worry, it'll sparkle. No, no, no. Don't worry, it'll sparkle, sir. After all, we don't want to break the hearts of all those cute sailors. No, no, no. Cute sailors, sir. Ah, oh, get off it, Apple Mouth. Now move it. The buckets and the hoses are over the air. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Squealy said the buckets and hoses were back there. Would you let a cake tell you how to wash a Jeep? Laverne, you can't do this. Why not? Because this Jeep is topless. Girl, I think I made a boo-boo. I know you made a boo-boo, Laverne. And now I'm paying for it. Oh. 
okay, Cheryl? Oh, I'm just fine. Never felt better, Laverne. <laughs> well, it's about time. You know we're on special orders to report immediately to the Navy's secret new laser ship. What's a laser ship do? Never mind that. How many cute sailors does it take to do it? Do not make jest, you dinglings. If you think this is going to be all fun and games, you're all wet. Hmm. Sergeant Tangbuckle is going to hear all about this. Sergeant Tangbuckle, come in, Sergeant Tangbuckle. Hop, two, three, four, hop, two, three, four, hop, hop. You ladies are going to see a lot of action. I certainly hope so. Hop, 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 hop. Isn't he gorgeous? I saw him first. I saw him first, and he's just my type. Face it, Laverne, you'd say that about Godzilla. Squealy reporting aboard, sir. I am commanding the Special Army Detachment, sir. What detachment? Oh, they've been detached. Laverne, Charlie, I'll mark you a no, you are well. Hey, where's that cute sailor? He must have gone aboard that ship. Come on, Cheryl, maybe he's got a friend for you. Where is everybody? Ahoy! That's Navy talk. There's nobody around, Laverne. You think maybe it's nap time? Laser ready for testing, Captain. Activate remote controls to send the target ship out to sea, Mr. Martinez. Aye, aye, sir. As soon as that old destroyer is in position, we'll blast it apart with our laser. Hey, we're moving! Well, that explains it. All the sailors must be downstairs driving. Laverne! Charlie, you want to spend your lives on KP? Answer me. Squealy, you silly pig, you missed the boat. Don't forget the ride. You cannot do this, you better brain bimbos. You're on the wrong ship. Well, I am just going to tell Sergeant Turn, Turn, Marco. Just our luck. Old Trophnose can swim. Look at that, he's doing the pig paddle. Throw me a, a rope. Here you go, Squealy. Very humorous. Now give me a rope, or I report this to Sergeant Turnbuckle. Move it. On the double. Please. Right. Don't go away. Whoa! Oh, help! What do you know? The little pork is water skiing. John, look at that. He's doing it the hard way without skis. <laughs> now pull me in before I... Yike! Welcome aboard, Squealy. Better late than bait. The American target ship has been launched, Captain. It's moving into position for the secret laser test. Good. First we watch the secret test, then we attack. <laughs> We'll return after these messages. Let's get him to leave so we can play. Bunny, want to ride my new bike? No, thanks. Telephone, Bunny. Take a message, please. No one can say no to quick. Say, Bunny, want some quick? Great, I'll get it. I've got it. Oh, quick is so rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. Good. Oh, since you're not playing. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to Quick. <laughs> Tidal wave? No. <gasps> big soft liquid center bubble. A big burst of flavor inside. Hey, Chief. You know why it's called Tidal Wave? <gasps> Wave bubble gum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. Well, destroyer is coming into range, sir. Begin the countdown. Yes, sir. Sequence started down and counting, sir. Thanks to you, you goof fools. We're gonna miss the laser beam test. Says who? Fred Hagenow's binoculars. Let me see. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before. Is he cute? I'd like to catch him in dry dock. 
Laverne, you're drooling all over the glasses. Give me those. So what's so cute? All I see on deck is this great big barrel thing swinging toward us. What? All right, give me those glasses. I believe they are aiming the laser at us. Relax yourself. You said they were going to blow up some old target ship. Yeah, the target's just some old target ship. And we're on it. Fire. Help! Help! We're sinking. Women and children first. And take glass. Where's the lifeboat? It's this way. No, it's this way. To it was this way, but we're faking face. I know. Funny you should ask. Nice going, Squealy. Your corkscrew tail just punctured our raft. What are you clowns talking about? Sit on it, Squealy. Yeah! Captain, radar shows a vessel approaching at great speed. Activate ship's disguising mechanism. Yes, Captain. You gotta slow this thing down. Punch another hole, Squealy. Lest you forget, I give the orders around here. Let's see what the manual says about this. Uh, never mind. We're gonna crash! Whoa! Laverne. Laverne, is that you or a skinny tuna? It's me, but I think I'm engaged to a herring. Welcome aboard, my humble fishing vessel. Oh, what have we here? A pig? I hope to keep pig. That's wonderful. How about keeping this one? Watch it, Defazio. Oh, Sergeant Tenbuckle's gonna love my report on you. Tell me, what are you doing out here? We're on a top secret mission. What secret mission? Something to do with a laser ship, but I can't tell you that. Laverne, close your... Laverne, loose lips sink ship. Ours is already sunk, girl. Oh, what else can't you tell me? Oh, about the laser being so powerful, it would have sliced her ship in half. Laverne, you just told her! I did not. I told her what I couldn't tell her. We're under military command, got that? We refuse to answer any more questions about our mission. Do not fret yourself, we only want our guests to enjoy their stay with us. Make them all comfortable below while we head for their ship. <laughs> well, that's more like it. Aren't they sweet to take us back to the ship? What do we tip them for this? Girl, this is not the love boat. Down the tray. Don't trouble yourself, fella. Well, we'll take the elevator. Now you did it, Laverne. You've changed this ship into a submarine. Submarine? That reminds me, where can I get a sandwich? So, you discovered our little secret. Secret? My submarine. There's no sub here. I don't see any sub. Did you see a sub? Did you see a sub, Laverne? Uh, sub? Uh, no way, not me. There ain't no subs around here. I mean, this sub. That's no sub. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Seize them! Uh, now, cool down and get back, fellas. Uh, no seizing on the first date. I will handle this. Halt! Ten hut! About face! Forward march! Up to! Up to! Up! Up! Ship company! Halt! Ship on fire! Uh, hiya, Sailor. Come here often? If you're looking for a pair of gorgeous girls, they went that way. Don't let us stop you. We're just a couple of mermaids visiting relatives. What about pigs? What's the matter, big boy? Didn't you ever see a merpig before? <laughs> Say, girl, you like frozen fish sticks? You know I do. Why? Because I think we're going to feed them. Convert to submarine! Aye, aye, Captain! Prepare to dive! Well, now that our visitors are fooled off, we can begin the attack! Activate telescopic grappling arms! Grappling arms working perfectly, Captain! 
Proceed on course. We'll rip that secret laser right off the American ship before they know what's happening. <laughs> oh, Laverne, where'd you get those earrings? What earrings? These uh, icicles. I'm freezing. Mm, nice going, girls. On account of you two blunderheads, they're gonna turn us into popsicles. Correction, two popsicles and one pigsicle. Uh, me too. I, I feel like a TV dinner. Gourmet, of course. Attention! Keep those ice blocks lined up! I know it. The cold's turned his brain to slush. I heard that, Private DeFazio. You are making me very mad, Laverne. You know what happens when I get mad? Yeah, your big fat snout turns red and your piggy little eyes get all... Laverne, I am warning you. We've got to keep insulting him. It's melting the ice. Mr. Fazio, why do pigs love garbage dumps? I don't know, Miss Feeney. Why do pigs love garbage dumps? Because there's no place like home. <laughs> Ooh. I'll have you locked in the stockades for the rest of your natural lives. Or maybe even longer. You did it, Squealy. We're free. I wouldn't count on that. Party pooper! Put them all in irons! I want no trouble from them while we are attacking the laser ship. Now hear this, Captain. I demand that you release my squad members immediately. I'm sorry, my fierce little piggy, but they know too much. Laverne and Shirley know too much? <laughs> You're putting me on. Hold it, you two. I give the orders around here. Squealy, have you ever considered transferring to intelligence for a brain transplant? Enough! Seize them! Your orders are as follows. Run for your lives! Quick! We'll use escape plan 1525X. Hide in those lockers! Hiya, sailor! Now I've got you, you swine! I'll get you! I'll get you all! compartment in an enemy submarine beneath the ocean? You call that safe? How about half safe? Would you settle for in big trouble? Big trouble. Okay, okay. Keep calm, troops, and follow me. Somebody call a plumber! Okay. <laughs> Grab those scuba outfits. Laser ship range 2,000 yards and closing, Captain. Excellent. Locking automatic laser retrieval system and... Captain, the prisoners are escaping from the sub in scuba gear. Stop that laser sequence. Set the grapplers to capture them. Laverne, look out. Get your cold fingers off of me. I don't even know you. This way, little soldiers. Under this rock. We've lost contact with the prisoners, Captain. You fool! Keep after them! Say, this is some fancy cave. i never seen a ceiling like that in Milwaukee. Yes! It's kind of pretty, like a, like a seashell. Don't be ridiculous. A shell this size would have to be a giant man-eating clam. <laughs> giant man-eating clam! All right, you big abalone. Open up in the name of the U.S. of A. Army. Anybody here speak clam? Uh, listen, clam. Give me a break. I never ate a bowl of chowder in my life. It's no use, Laverne. We're the ones in the soup now. All right, all right. Don't panic, little buckaroos. We'll pry him right open. Good idea. Yeah, that's using your brain. All right. All together now. A one and a two and a three. 
unhand me, you clammy clam. Oh, Laverne, surely save me. You promise to be nicer to us from now on? Treat us like human beings? That's what I have to promise so I won't be a clam dinner? That's right. Well? Answer us, squealing. I'm thinking it over. All right, get me out of here. Pull harder, you bubble-headed gold bricks. You broke your promise, Squealy. I had my hooves crossed behind my back. <laughs> now move out. Stroke two, three, four. Look out. Here comes Big No, It's okay, Laverne. Whales don't eat people. Good. I was starting to worry. We'll return after these messages. Why, it's apricot and hops a lot. Oh, oh, my. Have you come to share my new strawberry shortcake cereal? Indubitably. <laughs> That's very nice. It's such a pretty strawberry pink, and its crispy strawberry taste is a very good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Right. It even smells like strawberries. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious. This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Yeah. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Wow! Cheerio! Once that laser is ours, the world will be at our mercy. No, you're homesick, Cheryl. But this is no time to set up light whale keeping. Oh, I suppose you're right. But this stomach needs a woman's touch. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that is very funny, soldier girl. You're a real rib tickler, you are. That's it. We'll escape by tickling his ribs. Tickling squealy? No, Laverne, the whale. And when he opens his mouth to laugh, we'll swim right out. That's dumb. The U.M. dumb. How are you going to tickle a whale? Yay! Okay, Moby Dick, laugh it up. Gitchy goo! Don't touch me, DeFazio. <laughs> Who said fish don't have a sense of humor, huh? <laughs> Tickling was a dumb thing to do when it didn't work, Laverne. So? It doesn't make me a bad person. Shirley, what are you doing? I'm fixing myself up in case this whale swallows a cute lifeguard. <laughs> Gesundheit. Aw, oh, that poor whale needs a tissue. You made the whale sneeze. That's my Cheryl. What are you doing? That is very expensive stuff. Nighttime in Akron. <laughs> The laser ship's right ahead of us. And guess what's right behind us? The submarine! Ten seconds and counting, Captain! Our prize awaits us! <laughs> Captain, look! Escape prisoners! Seize them! All right, back off, you telescopic twerps. That's an order, and don't you ever forget it. That's telling them, Squealy! Yeah! I've heard of the SWAT team, but this is ridiculous. Down, boy, fuck off. Ooh, get that fool off my periscope. I can't see. I'm trying, Captain, but I can't see either. She's blocking the monitor. This is the last time I travel without seasick pills. We're flooding! Sound emergency stations! Surface immediately! Yes, Captain! Nice to see you again, sailor. Know any good pizza joints? Knock it off, Laverne. 
No more dates for either of you for goofing up our entire mission. In a pig's eye. We helped capture the sub and save this ship. Come on, Squealy. Laverne's absolutely right. What's fair is fair. We demand what's coming to us. Well, we certainly got what was coming to us, Laverne. Yeah, I wish Squealy would keep his big snout out of our lives. I heard that, and so will Sergeant Turnbuck. You call this laser clean? We've polished everything but this big button here. I'll get it. No, no, don't! Turn it off! Yay! I can't turn it off. What do we do? The only thing we can do. Relax and enjoy it. gonna get us for this one yeah but it'll be worth it we'll return after these messages I follow my nose it always knows I detect with my beak the fruit flavors I seek but where I smell those orange and lemon cherry tastes such a gloomy place to find that lively taste Whoa! Looking for these? Ah, yes. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, these are good. You think I'll have some more? Better ask your mummy. <laughs> Next to my big kitty, I adore the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. Quiet, Woodrow. For the big taste you can't resist, it's the big taste of chocolate in a little Hershey's Kiss. Next to my big friend, I love the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hershey's Kisses, the little kiss with the big taste. Roger Ramjet revs up the laughs as Funtown continues next. And by Eastern, Catwoman turns the boy wonder into a criminal. Stay tuned for Batman here on the Family Channel. sold separately. All right! When you buy these detailed Hot Wheels vehicles in specially marked packages, you can get this new Hot Wheels belt buckle free. Look what I got free with my new Hot Wheels! Check it out! The new Hot Wheels rig wrecker. Some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. Yours truly, the Fonz here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around and get my drip. Oh, don't, don't. 
he's going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We'll return after these messages. Next! He always wins. We'll never play each other. Get him win. I'll hide his paddle. Buddy, let's play catch. Nope. Checkers? No thanks. No one can say no to quick. Yeah. Want some quick? Quick. Mmm, quick is rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. That was good. Guess I'll go practice. Ready to play. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to quick. My son, to follow in my footsteps, you must always remember four things. Four things, Papa? Everybody needs a balanced breakfast every morning. That's number one, Papa? That's number one. Next, Captain Crunch cereal can be part of it. That's number two, Papa? That's number two. And number three is, you can't get away with a crunch because the crunch always gives you away. Number four is... Always remember number three. Right. Cupcake. It's too soon to panic. Then again, where are we? Well, it could be Milwaukee. At night, during a total eclipse. Well, let me tell you something. Wherever we are, there better be a fuse out there. Oh, we'll be stuck here forever. Forever? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, nice catch there, Mr. Cool. Hey, gosh. <laughs> this is really eerie, Fonz. Relax, Cunningham. There's nothing out there in the dark that ain't there in the light, huh? Yeah, but we don't know what's there in the light, either. Galloping galaxies! If light's all you need! Hey, congrats, cuppers. Good work. I really did it, didn't I? Like I always told you, eventually. How about that? You can always do what you set your mind to. Oh, moon craters. Hey, what kind of room is this? Those are the strangest ceiling beams I've ever seen. Hey, is anybody out there in the vicinity? I hate to say this, but I think this wacko time machine has just popped us inside a whale. A whale? All right, all right, relax, guys. We're trapped inside a whale, and you say relax? Hey, cool it, Ralph. Let's hear what Rich has to say. Thanks, Fon. Have you guys seen Pinocchio? Pinocchio! Movies! He's talking about movies! The point, Cunningham. Let us get to the point. I'm getting to it, Fon. See, Pinocchio, Geppetto, and the cat, and the talking fish, they all got out of a whale by building a fire. I get it! The smoke got the whale to sneeze them out! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I was thinking one of Ralph's smoke bombs might do the same trick. Good idea, Rich. Well, you've done it again there, Rich. Ralph, wait! Not yet! First, we gotta get back into the time... Ship? Oh, no! Help! Help! Somebody help! Quiet, Ralph. You want him to hear us? You're right, Rich. Help! Help! Somebody help! Rishy! Help! Hello there, Cupcake. Are you all right? Now I am. So, uh, where do you suppose we are there, Cuppers? We're anchored just off Pleasure Island. Is that you? And according to this map, the treasure lies here, where X marks the spot. Aye, and we'll be rich men tomorrow, Captain. That we will, Mad Dog, that we will. Oh, we landed on a pirate ship. Not just any pirate ship. 
ship bottoms. According to my time band, this is Blackbeard's pirate ship. Where did you come from? Milwaukee! Hey! Hello! Ralph, I'm slipping! Ralph! Don't worry, Rich. I'll catch you. Just drop. Sure? Sure, I'm sure. Just drop. Okay, if you're sure. Here goes! A rush there, Mandy! A pirate? We walked a plank. Please, please, please. Uh, hello? Lafayette wants a cracker. Uh, a parrot? Hey, Rich, it wasn't a pirate after all. It was a parrot. Glad to hear that, bro. <laughs> I'm Lucy Primrose. I'm... Oh, uh, uh, I, I mean, I mean uh, I'm, I'm Richie. I'm Richie Cunningham from Milwaukee. Milwaukee? Is that far from London? Only about 200 years. What are you doing on a pirate ship? Waiting to be rescued, I fear. Oh, well, fear no longer, Lucy. Help has arrived. Oh. Mr. Cole! What was that? Sounded like a thud, Blackbeard. If there be spies on board, they'll regret it. And dog Dick, come with me. Oh, jump at Jupiter! They're coming! All right, we need a disguise. Oh, nice try there, Mr. Cool. I think they'd see right through that in a minute. I know something they can't see through. I think we're still off the mark there a little bit, huh, Cupcake? It came from out here, mateys. Scour the cake. Hey, maybe this will do the trick. Outside of a mech. You check off that way, Jake. Whoever we find walks the plank. Oh, no. This is an A! This is an A! Shh! You want them to find me? Lafayette wants a cracker! I haven't got a cracker. Will you be quiet for a, a quarter? No! A, a sour ball? No! Lafayette wants a cracker! How about some string? A, a rabbit's foot! Chewing gum! How about a, 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 pe a petrified frog? So, we find a spy, eh? Speaking of petrified... Please! Please, I'd make a great pirate! Pieces of me! Yo, ho, ho! Just give me a chance, will ya? Oh, I wonder how long they'll leave me here. See, what, what happened then? Richie? Rich! Rich! I'm in the brig! My uncle sailed off to find the treasure, but he never came back. So I took my copy of the map and went looking for him. And found Blackbeard instead. He took my map and has kept me prisoner here. Well, don't you worry, Lucy. I'll see that you find your uncle and get your treasure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, nothing, really. Richie and Ralph must be here somewhere. All right, Mr. Cool, you check over that way, okay? Aye, aye, Randy! Whoops! You Randy! Phew! Richie? Ralph? Where are you? You'll have to call now to the net to reach the brig, lass. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You know, I never met a real pirate face to face before. And yet not likely to again, mate, once I'm finished with you. Oh, yeah? Says who? Says Blackbeard. Fuzzy! Easy, Cup, it's easy. I can handle this. I've got to do something. What magic is this? Oh, just a little gift from the 25th century town. Randy! I would, I would, if somebody could hold the ship still. 
Stop, Bozo Beard. You're the only one that's spinning now. Ball! It's Blackbeard. Oh, it's Blackbeard. That's Richie's voice. Where am I? Miss Primrose has been telling me how you've been treating her. And I would just like to say, grab the rope, Richie. Grab the rope, Richie. Help us arrive. But it looks like you're doing just fine on your own there, Red. That's the fun. You'll like him. Okay, now, here's the plan. You three, sit tight. Me and Mr. Cool will help find Ralph. Don't be long, Fuzzy. I mean, now, where do you suppose he'd be? Huh? Are you for a cracker? What? <laughs> Lafayette knows where he is. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho. -ho. Well, how about you tell us there, yo-ho? Lafayette wants a cracker. Oh, I don't got no cracker, but how about a knuckle sandwich? You know, if beauty is only skin deep, you're in big trouble. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm telling jokes to a skeleton. Hey, Ralph, up here. I'll have you out in a second. I'm saying... I'm sunk. It's time to walk the plank. First you, then your friends when we find them again, and we will find them. <laughs> Swabby, jump! But after I jump, how do I get back up? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You stay in the water and you shake hands with Davy Jones, the demon of the deep. Sounds like a fun guy. Y you sure you don't need someone around, you know, to scrub the decks, polish swords? I do windows. Jump! Why didn't I learn to swim when I had the chance? And where's Fonzie? We'll return after these messages. Not everyone wears Zips shoes because they can help you run fast. Not everyone wears Zips for traction. And not everyone wears Zips for an incredible performance. But when all is said and done, it's nice to know that performance is there. Just in case you need it. Little Bear, it's the grumpiest pirate afloat. But we're supposed to cheer him up. Ah, who goes there? Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Sir? State your business, mates. To put fun into your morning. What be fun? Kellogg's Rice Krispie Cereal. It's, it's fun to put snap, crackle, pop into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> A talking treasure. Sir, where do pirates come from? Pittsburgh. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> Pinch is on you! Yay, Super Bear! Host Super Sugar Crisp Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Now with Super Sugar Crisp Cereal stickers, you can find your bike quicker. Decorate your skates! Customize your wheels. Or even label Mabel. Three different sticker strips, one in each specially marked bright new box of Post Super Sugar Crisp. You heard what we said, mighty jump! Don't rush me. I'll jump. I'll jump. Now. Whatever you say, Blackbeard. That's what take care of that. Mm. But something's missing, Captain. And what would that be, Mad Dog? A splash. Huh? All right. Boy, well, you guys sure came along at the right time. Hey, we'd love to stick around here, Blackbeard, but the treasure calls. Yo, ho, ho. Ah. We overheard Blackbeard saying the treasure is buried somewhere on this island. And I can remember some of the map. So how can we go wrong, huh, miss? You. <laughs> how can we miss? We've lost the time machine. We're running from pirates. Cheer up, Ralph. This island looks like a great place to settle down. Rich, there's not a drive-in around for centuries. Just roll, Ralph. 
the calamities are reaped dead ahead. Real bad choice of words, Cupcake. Come on, Ralph. We gotta roll away from that thing. Geez, Rich, I'm already rolling as fast as I can. Yeah, maybe a little too fast there, Ralph. I think maybe we should try something else. <laughs> Cooler with the life preservers there, huh, Cool? Hey, abandoned ship isn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> right, Fonz. Maybe we should try something more immediate. Like, jump! Whoa! Then again. Forget it, Ralph. Maybe I'll just forget it. I'll take care of that hunk of rock. Nice try, Cupcake. But it looks like that hunk of rock is gonna take care of us. Galloping galaxies, I oof. Hey, forget it, Cuppers. All right, you guys bail while Mr. Cool and I pry us out of here. That looks like a lot of work. It is a lot of work, Ralph. Why don't you just do this? Because if we did, the next time the tide came up, the water would do that. G good point, Rich. Leave all there, Mr. Cool. We're going to be on the next wave or under it. Cool yourself there, cool. This will be a snap. There! That's the last bucket of water. Nice work, guys. Too bad we're out of water or I'd take a turn. <laughs> Your, Your turn, turn Ralph. Ralph. All right, Mr. Cool, take this rope, tie us up to one of them palm trees. Right, Rungy! Run a rotary! Hey, good work, Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool. Neptune's moves. Where is he? Hey! Okay, Lucy, what do you remember from the map? Well, there was something about Skull Mountain. Skull Mountain? What could that refer to? Yikes! I think it's this way. <laughs> strangers, strangers, come to me, Ireland. Well, what happened? Hello, stranger. No. Was it something I said? It's about time you caught up there, Ralph. Oh, it was horrible, Fonz. Horrible. Look. Cosmic calamities. You're right. You see him? Them, Ralph. I see them. Huh? It's Blackbeard! With my map. Then we'll have to work fast. Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll buy us some extra time. Everybody duck. I did it! I bet they're all the way to Spain by now, or Alaska. Or up there, like ahead of us. This way, men, to Skull Mountain. Oh, Hey, it's not that bad, Cupcake. We can still catch him. And they can lead us right to the treasure. All right, Ouch! I think it's too dangerous for Lucy to go along, Fawn. Uh? Oh, Richie's right. And we should stay here to protect her. Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, we'll travel faster alone anyway, right, guys? That's right, Fozzie. Ouch! Oh, oh. Right, Fozzie! Could we, uh, get going here? Ouch! Oh, uh, I'm laughing! Treasure's as good as yours, Lucy. Right, we've got everything under control. What was that? I don't know, but it's coming from over there. In here! Harry! I know that voice. So do I. It's that creep a wild man who attacked me. It's Uncle Horatio. 
For your sake, Rich, I hope it doesn't run in the family. Sir, I'm Richie Cunningham, and this is Ralph Mao. And we're looking for the treasure chest. The treasure chest? <laughs> I, I can lead you to the treasure chest. Follow me. I know a shortcut. I, I, I really think I'd prefer the scenic route. It's right up here. I know. <laughs> There's where the treasure chest is buried. Wow. X really does mark the spot. No. Horatio marked the spot, so I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> Terrible memory. Uh, do you want to dig it up? Richie Cunningham would do anything for Lucy Primrose. Now I'll have my uncle and the treasure. I think this is it. It is a treasure chest, just like in Treasure Island. Treasure Island? It's a book. They made the movie into a book? Now, we'll just see what's inside. That's what you think, mate. I'll be taking that treasure chest now. <laughs> Wait just a minute, bucko. I know the laws, and this is ours. Pirates obey only the law of the sea. I guess that's the way the gold doubloon crumbles, Rich. And now to collect me booty. Not so fast there, Blackbeard. I think that belongs to the little lady. Well, we're ready. <sighs> so, we meet again, I. Yeah, and let me tell you something. This is getting real boring. Yeah, boring. Yeah. It's time we settle this once and for all, then. Watch out, Fonz. Oh, I've got to help him. A uh, cupcake. Please, please, not this time. Magic! It's witchcraft! Fonzie? Fonzie? Fonzie! Leaping lasers! What did I do? <laughs> Were there anyone else who would stop Blackbeard? <laughs> I'll give it a try, bucko. <laughs> well, you can't blame a guy for trying. Any other heroes among you? Not me. Ask anyone. He's telling the truth. He's a coward and a rat. Thanks, Cupcake. I'll never forget you for that. And now, the treasure is mine. <laughs> Wrong again, Bully Beard. Yeah! Yeah, Fonz! <laughs> All right, Fonz, go to it! How did he get in there? Cupcake's power's goofed up right this time. Teach him a lesson, Fonz. If there be lessons to teach, Blackbeard will be doing the teaching. Hey, look, Fatbeard, I don't want to have to hurt you, you know? Hurt me? Well, that's a good one. Arr, arr. <laughs> <laughs> if the treasure isn't in the chest, where is it? The treasure, you see. I found it long ago and hid it up in Skull Mountain. So why didn't you tell us that? Hey, we well, said you were looking for the treasure chest. <laughs> so the treasure's up there, right? And with you out of the way, it'll be all mine. Hey, you want it? You got it. Yeah, it's all yours there, Greenbeard. <laughs> Way to go, Fonz! I think we best be off, Jake. <laughs> e <laughs> Richie, my hero. Me? Your hero? It was so brave how you stood up to Blackbeard for me. Well, Fonzie did a lot of the work, too. Oh, oh well, that's yeah, nothing to it. No, yeah. The pirates will be fine on the island until my uncle and I send a ship to pick them up. And take them to prison! That solves that problem. But it doesn't get our time machine back. And it's all my fault. I'm throwing these smoke bombs away for good. Ralph, you did it again! But this time it worked out right. I guess this means goodbye, Richie. Ah. Goodbye, Richie.
Hey, wait a minute. You're Blackbeard's parrot. Ah, that depends. Lucy got a cracker. Ah. I shall miss you, Witchy. And you too, Mr. Cool. Oh, wow. Easy there, Mr. Cool. Easy. You gotta be very nice with the ladies. All right, we'll have to get this time machine back on a track in just a sec there, Cupcake. But where did you find the fuse, Fozzie? Hey, the fuse found us. A gold balloon. Excellent, Fon. Excellent. Hey, now let's see if we can find 1957, shall we? Yo, ho, ho, and away we go! Goodbye, friend. <laughs> kind of funny, Fon, how this time I got the girl. Yeah, <laughs> right you are, Richie, eh? Think him over here. Don't let it happen again, all right? Sure thing, Fon. We'll return after these messages. Hey, Keebler, how's the old elf and magic? Oh, pretty good. Ah, the old fudge and one side trick, huh? Wow, stripes! Yes, sir. We're making our fudge stripe cookies. We take crisp shortbread cookies, cover them with rich fudge on one side and fudge stripes on the other side. Unbelievable! I always wanted to know how you elves got the stripes on your fudge stripe cookies. And I still don't know. Keebler fudge stripes, fudge sticks, and deluxe grams. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. It comes back with each good throw. Boomerang, you can throw it by yourself. Or throw it with some friends. Nerf Boomerang is safe, soft fun that never, never ends. Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang from Parker Brothers. inside in the usual kind of way when he suddenly found a frightening fact that made poor willie freeze his folks were out no one about and willie had lost his keys will he survive will he survive will he survive <laughs> yeah willie used his common sense don't panic that's the key first go to a friend or neighbor find a safe place you can be stay near a phone until someone arrives. If you lose your keys or you get locked out, remember, will he survive? Yeah. 
Yippity yappity doo. The Scooby and Scrappy Doo Puppy Hour. We'll return after these messages. Today we'll have a ball at breakfast with my delicious cereal. Cachocula. Ah, music to my ears. Mmm, delicious chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Step aside, Count Clumsy, while I cut in with my ever so scrumptious Frankenberry. My strawberry flavored cereal with tasty marshmallows. It's a real hit. Cachocula. Frankenberry. <laughs> you can enjoy this good, nutritious breakfast with Frankenberry. Cachocula. Tidal wave? No. <gasps> Big soft liquid center bubble. Big burst of flavor inside. Hey, Chief, you know why it's called tidal wave? <gasps> tidal wave bubble gum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. This is ABC. Smile, America, say Chuck E. Cheese. Get a taste of pizza time theater, say Chuck E. Cheese. Food and games and all kinds of features. For a taste of pizza time theater, you can. The stars come out this weekend for Easter Seals. Don't miss it. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Thanks, Easter Bunny. All the world loves M&M's. They're pure milk chocolate joy in a candy shell. M&M's Chocolate Candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Belt Racer can go wherever you go. It's a belt that doubles as a racetrack. By using the spring-loaded buckle launcher, you can send the race car speeding down the belt track. Each belt racer sold separately. Racer comes with everything you see here, each sold separately. New from Kusan. We now return with the Puppy's New Adventure. It was really exciting. We were all moving overseas. My boy Tommy, his family, even Dolly and me. I'm Petey, the puppy. Long. We met with a storm at sea and three stowaways. Old town through my day is astray. Uh, uh, hiya, PD. It's Dash, Duke, and Lucky. Hang on, pup. I'm a coming. We were safe. The ship with my boy aboard was leaving us behind. They didn't see what happened to us. I'll never see my boy again. Says who, kiddo? We'll help you find him no matter what. And so began a search that would take PD to every corner of the globe. The Puppy's New Adventure. We were in Turkey when I saw Tommy. Duke wasn't sure, but I knew. I knew Tommy was in that taxi, heading for a place called Istanbul. We got there as fast as we could, but there were so many people, and not all of them were friendly. Out! Out of the marketplace! <laughs> Scram, you mangy mutt! What's keeping you guys? We've got to find a place to hide! I know! Follow me! 
What do we have here? Poor fellas. You look like you're running from someone. I know how you feel. You must be hungry. <laughs> it's all yours. I am on my way to meet a friend in Greece. The Festival of Olives. You like baklava, huh, big fella? Where well, I am going at the festival, there'll be plenty of it. But my mission is far more important than Greek pastry. Young King Tyrell lies fatally ill in Petrovia, and I must help him. Eat up, fellas. I hope his king gets better. So do I, Dolly. But we got problems of our own to worry about. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I, I knew it. Sasha, Gregor. Surprised to see us? The serum, Dimitri. Hand it over. We're shut in. Can you hear anything? Your mission to bring back the vial of serum that can cure King Tyrell almost succeeded. <laughs> Just one problem. Us! You will never deliver it. And with the king's demise, we will take over Petrovia. You are too late. I... I have already sent the vial to Petrovia. You're lying! It's here somewhere, maybe in that suitcase. Tell us where it is. Dimitri's in trouble. Come on, he needs our help. But maybe it's just a domestic squabble. I've done again. Stand aside. I'm barreling through. <laughs> What is? Hi! Let go of me! My little friends. Drop, little doggies! Let go now! The serum! Pops, don't let her get it! What? Let go of him! Got you, Mutt! Oh! Chance for King Tyrell. Out of the way! The serum only lasts 48 hours. <sighs> Must get to King Tyrell. Let's roll. The kid's gonna need us. <laughs> Him, uh, he's had it. I know. We can still stop them this way. <laughs> hey, what happens? Help me! Help! Nice going, Duke. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was close. Now, let's get back to Dimitri's apartment and drop off the serum. The club vanished, packed up, and went. The serum? The king will never get it. Wait a minute. Dimitri was on his way to meet a friend at the Festival of Olives. 
Maybe this friend is another agent. Maybe he can give the serum to the king. Maybe... But we don't know where the festival is held. I can tell you where it is, but it'll cost you a piece of cheese. Cheese? Yeah, cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Cheese. You call this cheese? Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. The festival. Where is it? It's in the city of Salonika. In Greece. You get there on the Istanbul Express. You got it? Let's get to the train station. <laughs> Take any chances of those dogs. Dimitri could have trained them like homing pigeons to deliver the serum to the second agent. I have planned too long to have those dogs ruin everything. Come on, one more push. Hurry up, I'm getting claustrophobic. I think the coast is clear. I hope so. Keep it down, Dash. Well, it wasn't my idea to sneak on the train. And whose idea was it anyway to have me carry the serum? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who's? Dash, you know you're the only one around here who could outrun trouble. What's going on here? Don't! We can't get caught. Come on! He's gone, huh? Do you? Do you? Huh? Do you? I don't hear anything. Huh? We're moving. We're moving! This card is being taken somewhere. Your dinner. It is about time. I'm so hungry I could eat a dog. <laughs> I know that voice. Pass the pepper, Gregor. With pleasure, my dear. Oops! Thank you. Dogs! Uh-oh! Get the serum, Gregor! The serum! Run, Dash! There's one of them! We'll return after these messages. Let's talk, Mama Gals. They've got flair, sparkling jewelry, gorgeous hair. Time for different outfits and jewelry. Lonnie and Carefree Cowgirl and Fancy Dancer. Shara and Simply Sparkling and Baby Blue, all sold separately. Elegant earrings, Shara. Gorgeous boat buckle, Lonnie. Don't we sparkle? You love the fun of the more than one. Lonnie and Fancy Dancer and dolls and other outfits, each sold separately from Kenner. Hey, kid, what can I get you? Yum. What's that? You want gum? Yum. You like uh, bubble yum? Yeah. It says here, super yum. Must be new, huh? Bubble yum, huh? Looks good. I think I'll try a piece. Mmm. What's this again? <laughs> Yum. Bubble yum, bubble gum. Now in strawberry, a new super yum flavor. Thank you. Long ago, in a galaxy far away, the Star Wars saga began, and Kenner continues the excitement. We must capture Luke Skywalker. Circus, Imperial TIE fighter pilot, Adat Commander, and Hoth Luke Skywalker, each sold separately. Those guys don't give up. Which way now, Adat Commander? He must be in here. We've got you now, Skywalker. Shoes on the other foot. I'm 
got you. Zuckus Adat Commander and other action figures each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Somewhere out there, someone needs oh, High Class Hudson's Earning Lessons for People. When Jenny Milligan wanted to earn some money, she tried doing some of the jobs her friends liked. But babysitting frazzled her. Mowing lawns was an uphill battle, and she was allergic to weeding. High Class Hudson! To find a job you really like to do, do something you really like. Huh? Make a list of all the things you enjoy, things you're good at, hobbies you like, even if some of them seem a little far out. Then see if you can spot some ways to earn money in your list. Um, I'm a good swimmer. Why not become qualified to teach swimming to younger kids? Art is my hobby. Advertise a painting service, mailboxes, fences, t-shirts. I get it. Turn something you like to do into a job you really like. You're right on the money. <laughs> I like dogs. Jenny's dog walking service. Your pet is my project. We now continue with the puppy's new adventures. Kid, let's get the dash. Oh, oh, oh. oh I can't hold on. show up here. If Dimitri did train them, they'll be here. Only they will think you're their man and pass the serum over to you. Ah, uh, I see you have something for me. I'll take good care of it. Thanks, little dog. Mm, that scent. I've smelled it before. The scent is Gregor. Oh, we've been had. There they go. <laughs> Those dogs are very persistent. Do something. Maybe this will change their minds. Holy oh, oh, yeah. I'm a slipping and it's right here. I know, I know. did like olives. Forget the olives. There they go. We can cut them off. This way. Into that fruit truck. Pretty slick. A free ride. Oh, no. Dang, we're taking a detour. Ah, we're gonna lose him. I know it. I just know it. Gone. And it's going too fast to jump. That's the last we'll 
Ciertos Mats. Finally. And now nothing can prevent our return to Petrovia and the preparation for our takeover. <laughs> oh, oh, we really blew it this time. Uh -huh. Who knows where we are by now? Hey, what do you know? We're not out of it yet. This truck just took a shortcut. So we must be ahead of Sasha and Gregor. Hey, we're slowing down. Everybody, jump! You know, I got a plan that may get us the serum back. It better be good, because there they are down the road. I figure we can set a trap for humans like they set for animals. Lucky, you dig a hole in the road. Gotcha. The rest of us have to gather leaves and twigs. Fast. Whoop, whoop. I'm done here. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. It warped. Come on. We're stuck. I can't believe it. It is those darn dogs. He's got the serum. Get him. A nice little dog, yes. We'll catch up with Petey and Petrovia. We're running out of time, and we don't even know where King Tyrell is. If he's sick, he must be in a hospital. But how do we find a hospital? We could look one up in the phone book. Well, it's a good idea, Dolly, if you know Petrovia. It appears we're plum out of ideas. Listen, it's an ambulance siren. Yeah, it's a siren. Uh -huh. So what? Ambulances go to hospitals. We can follow it and find the king. Excepting for Dash, we'll never keep pace with an ambulance. Yes, we will. If Dash left us a trail of red paint. Kid, you're a genius. Dirty, dirty. I hate dirty. I always get stuck with the dirty word. <laughs> Okay, let's track him. It is my fault, King Tyrell. The serum is lost. You did your best. Sasha and Gregor are devious foes. Only one hour left before the serum's effectiveness wears off. My fate now lies in the hands of the doctors. We made it! Yeah, but they're not gonna let a bunch of stray dogs in there. I wouldn't be so sure. Sasha, there's no way those dogs can make it to the hospital in time. I am not so sure. They have surprised us before. It is a dog. Hey, dog. Five dogs. Did he say dogs? <laughs> oh, no! Stop them! Come on. I've got an idea. Where'd they go? Ah, keep it 
it isn't those stray dogs, Sasha and Gregor. And thanks to those dogs, we've got them. Hey. Where are you dogs going? He's getting weaker. I don't know what else to try. I don't believe my eyes. The serum. It is a miracle. The serum worked. I must thank those dogs. They saved my life. But where are they? They have been waiting right outside your door. Uh, they were right here. It can't be much longer now, Duke. We're gonna find my boy. I just know we'll find Tommy. And now, these messages. Drink in the take along pouch. 10% fruit juice, nothing artificial. There's only one Capri Sun. It's great tasting fun when you punch open one. There's only one Capri Sun. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. It comes back with each good throw. Boomerang, you can throw it by yourself. Some friends, Nerf Boomerang is safe, soft fun that never, never ends. Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang from Parker Brothers. Tomorrow, a chilling meeting with Dracula's real-life counterpart and an eerie trip into the center of a tornado on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Wednesday, a history teacher in a daring experiment recreates the Nazi youth movement to warn that it could happen again. The Wave, an ABC after-school special. One night about a quarter to nine yeah, really? and the gang had said goodbye and they're on the corner all on his own stood our friend Willie survive yeah. he told the gang he'd take the bus cause it took him right past home when he missed the bus his friends are gone and now he's all alone will he survive will he survive will he survive Emergency change, he used it to go home. Hello, Dad. Can you pick me up? And you should always do the same in case you need to phone. I'll blow this town to smithereens. I found. Try to get up there in time, Spider-Man. Watch me cut my web, goblin. Watch yourself fall, Silk Slinger. Stop the bombs and tie. If I don't get you wet head, my day of Nazis will. Hold it, Hannah. And you're running out of fluid. Is this more action than even Spider-Man can handle? Spider-Man, a video game from Parker Brothers, the ones to beat. Today's ABC Weekend Special is the Red Room Riddle based on this book by Scott Corbett. Well, that's strange. My co-host this week was supposed to be Vincent Price, the man in this painting. But he hasn't shown up yet. He was going to tell us all about haunted houses. Personally, I don't believe him. 
Don't be too sure of yourself, OG. You never can tell. Yeah, you may be right, Mr. Price. If you want to join, you have to do it. You never had to go into that house. I had to carry a dead skunk halfway across town. And it wasn't distinct, either. I'd rather do that than go in there. Look, the worst part of this initiation is that I'm stuck with you to make sure you do it. Well, I don't like the looks of this place. All you have to do is see what's inside and then report it to the club. What are you boys doing here? Just wondering what's inside that house. I wouldn't try to find out if I were you. You know something about that place? Everybody knows about that place. It's supposed to be haunted. Well, we'll go see for ourselves. Good luck. Especially if you do get inside. I know. What if we just go back and make up a story about what's inside the house? They'll never know the difference. You know, Todd, sometimes you really are amazing. You know that? You don't want a story. You want to know what's inside the house. How are we even going to get inside the fence? We can't squeeze through on those rods at the top of rusty. Have you ever thought about trying the gate? Oh, sure. Somebody's really going to leave the gate open just for us. Todd, why I ever put you up for the club? I'll never know. <laughs> It must have been really far. <laughs> no, I'll get you for that. That wasn't part of the initiation. You should have seen the look on your face. Wait till I tell the guys. I wasn't scared. They startled me, that's all. Oh, sure. Well, if you weren't scared, you did the best imitation I ever saw. Now, lead the way. Okay. No one's lived here in an awful long time. Who would want to? This place old. Sure looks haunted. Come on, ghosts don't exist. I guess you're some kind of expert. <laughs> with gripper bases and crusher arms. Max Steel, the leader. Volgar, the destroyer. Copdor, the enforcer. Each sold separately. Your gripper base will save you? I'll get you next time, Max Steel. Copdor, the enforcer. Max Steel, the leader. Volgar, the destroyer. Each sold separately. New from Ideal's RoboForce. Gotcha. The game that's out to get you. Don't let gotcha get you with the handcuff on. Roll two keys on the dice. Then pass the handcuff on. If gotcha doesn't get you, you stay in the game. But the first time gotcha gets you, you're out. Gotcha. A game for the whole family from Milton Bradley. Now, back to our story. I know 
why you're here. Who are you? I'm Jamie Bly. And you want to get in the house. Oh, would you? You're afraid of what you might find. We're not afraid of anything. I see. I'm afraid of anything. The old Major is fearless, too. But he's also peaceful. Less provoked. Tell me your names. Maybe we don't feel like it. Are they provoking us, Major? Todd Burton, Bill Slocum. You lads are trespassers. And you're not? Come on, don't try and tell us that you live in this old wreck. Perhaps I do. Perhaps I don't. Maybe we ought to leave, Bill. Good idea. Besides, we wouldn't get inside. It's all sealed up. We'll go see for ourselves. Come on, Todd. Boy, that kid is weird. Even his clothes are weird. He talks funny, too. He doesn't know as much as he thinks. That kid seems to know something about this house. Maybe we should just get out of here. Not till we have a look first. Hey, look out! Are you okay? Yeah, guess my weight must have shook this out porch. This place is. Dangerous and eerie. That was just an accident. We'll be more careful. I think we should get out of here before something else happens. Come on, let's try this window. Maybe we could see in. Sure, and then we don't have to go inside. The club said all I had to do was tell them what it looked like in there. If you want to pass your initiation, you have to go in. But stop trying to chicken out. I can't see a thing. Told you so. What's that? Sounds like footsteps. They are footsteps. Better hide. Fast. Where are you, Jamie Bly? I know you're here. You and that dog of yours. If I catch you, I'll fix you good. Don't worry. That old caretaker is half blind and half deaf. I catch that Jamie Bly. He'll learn a thing or two. You just can be sure about that. He's not gonna get you without leaving. There's no need to hurry. The old fellow's gone. He might not stay gone. Tonight, I shall see that you get inside the house. But perhaps you're afraid. We're not afraid. We went up to the house, didn't we? Come on, Todd. This joker's getting on my nerves. Be here when darkness sets. You'll see I'm not making jokes. When the moon is up, be here. 
if you dare. I bet that weird Jamie kid won't even show up. Making us wait out here for nothing is probably his idea of a neat trick. Yeah, well, if he doesn't show, we don't get into the house, and you don't get into the club. Forget it! I'm not gonna be the first guy in the club to go into that place. Come on. <laughs> now, remember, no matter what this guy has up his sleeve, it's all a bag of tricks. Just a bunch of hocus-pocus. Don't let that little squirt scare us. Well, I see you've changed your minds. And you'd better get us inside that house. My, don't you sound brave. Well, if you're in such a big room. After you. <laughs> hey, wasn't this place full of leaves and junk this afternoon? Yeah. When did you guys start fixing up the place? Follow me. Turn out that light. Storm. We'll be inside in a moment. Stay close behind me. I might get lost out here forever. Lost forever. He's trying that corny stuff on us again to scare us. You're not gonna fall for it, are you? Turn after these messages. This is the claw, and you control it. C L A W, the controlled land action wagon. Batteries not included. Play people sold separately. The power shifter lets you control the speed, forward or reverse. Power steering lets you control direction. It climbs with ferocious front wheel drive that claws up hills and roars over the earth. The claw, and you control it. The Claw with Power Shifter. Play people sold separately. New from Tonka. 5,000 kids will win a camera in the Crunch Island Camera Sweepstakes. Your choice of a Kodak disc, Kodak trim print, or Fisher Price camera. Check out these later. In special boxes of Captain Crunch's Choco Crunch, yeah, 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 yeah. Peanut Butter Crunch, or Crunch Berries, <laughs> there's an adventure viewer. If it says you win, I won. Say cheese. One in 1,800 will win. To enter free, write to Camera Sweepstakes, Box 1132, Libertyville, Illinois, 60198. Crystal Barbie. Crystal Barbie, you're so beautiful. You'll shine at the dance. Here's a Crystal Barbie doll in a shimmery gown and change around stole. Ooh, the jewelry sparkles. Perfect for dance. Crystal Ken doll sold separate. Barbie, you shimmer with every move right down your ruffle. Ken says you shine from head to toe. Crystal Barbie doll comes with gown and a necklace for you to wear. Ken sold separately. From Mattel. Now, back to our story. Touch me. Felt hot. Okay, what did you do, Jamie? I didn't do anything. You know better than to go near thorns in a rose garden. Thorns don't glow in the dark, and they don't feel hot either. Now, how did you do it? I think you've got a good imagination. Now, oh, come on. I saw it, too. It was some kind of trick. I'll figure out how he did it sooner or later. Come on. Hey, where'd all the old boards on the windows go? Yeah, who cleaned up the place this fast? Couldn't be that old caretaker. Are you coming or not? Okay, we're here. Now get us inside. Certainly. Well? Come on. How come you use 
oil lamps. My family doesn't have electricity. These only oil lamps and candles. Where is the rest of your family? Out. Of course. Wait here. Now we can tell the club about the inside of the house. So let's go. Not so fast. There's more to this house than one room. This place gives me the creeps. Can you stop worrying and help me look for a light switch? There's no telling what that weird kid might do with nobody home. There's gotta be somebody home. A place this big must have some help. A maid, a cook, maybe even a butler. See, what did I tell you? Hey, could you tell us where Jamie went? switch. You two just don't listen. I told you we don't have electricity. Now we'll go upstairs to the red room. She's afraid of the red room. Now I shall open the red room. This room's the best in the whole house. It's got everything, even a secret way out. You guys are so smart, perhaps you can find it. Hey, open up! It's locked. Open the door, Jamie. I don't see just how smart you are. All you have to do is find your way out. You better not take too long or you'll see more than you bargained for. Open the door, else we're gonna kick out the windows. Go ahead and try. <laughs> Wait, how do we know 
this isn't another trick. Or something worse. We have to take our chance. We can't stay here. him. The people that used to live in that house were named Bly. They had a young boy. The boy and his dog died in a tragic fire in his room. Folks around here believe he's buried in the yard. Bill, remember those bones? That long after the boy and the dog died, their room mysteriously turned red. You could hear their cries from behind the wall. What about that old caretaker? Could he tell us? Hmm, I suppose he could. But he's been dead for 40 years. Well, watch out for those rainstorms. Doesn't she look familiar? Of course she does. We saw her this morning, remember? No, I mean just now. Doesn't she look like the maid? Only older? <laughs> this is crazy. We gotta get out of here. Hey, wait up! I guess we both got scared, right? Oh, well, you know, it does feel kind of good to admit that you are scared. Boy, I never thought I'd hear you say that. You didn't tell the guys in the club? Well, you know, I bet that kid Jamie probably found out about the people who used to live there. Yeah, maybe even hypnotized us into thinking that we saw the ghost. We were tricked. That red mark on your face is no trick. Oh, that. Turn after these messages. In a cabbage patch garden, all in a row, magic cabbages live and 
grow with honey bee crinkle and love and joy. They turn into a cabbage patch girl and boy. Cabbage patch kids growing in the garden. Cabbage patch kids growing in the now you can play the Cabbage Patch Kids, the album with the kids on the cover, new from Parker Brothers, each sold separately. Cabbages, cabbages, yum, yum, yum. Cabbages, cabbages, give me some. Long ago at Rose Petal Place, Orchid met Nastina, the evil spider. Doll sold separately. Oh no, Orchid, it's Nastina. Wait till I tiptoe through your tulips, Rose Petal. Watch out, Nastina. The sky is falling. I won't fall for that. Gotcha. That'll keep her in her place. <laughs> Rose Petal, Nastina, and Orchid dolls come with all you see here, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Captain O.G. Reedmore here. If you're packing up a picnic or heading for the beach, here's some instant entertainment that's always right in reach. You could hike it, you could bike it, you could swing it on your back. And it's right there where you need it when you're ready to relax. Yes, it's instant entertainment. <laughs> any place and any day. So no matter where you're going, <laughs> don't forget your book, okay? <laughs> Now, here are the hosts of the ABC Weekend Specials, Vincent Price and O.G. Readmore. Well, Vincent Price never showed up, so I'll have to do this myself. That was the Red Room Riddle. Uh, I'd show you the book, but I can't find it. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> On the next Weekend Special, <laughs> when Pollywog disappears... It looks like we're going to have to go down there and find him. His family begins their search. There's a whole city down here. And oh. finds a strange and mysterious land. What have you done with my little brother, Pollywog? But now, Help! Penny's captured too. And it's everyone to the rescue in the secret world of Oz on the next weekend special. Tomorrow, see a man who defies deadly snakes for a living on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Wednesday afternoon, don't miss the Almost Royal Family in ABC After School Special. Now stay tuned for American Bandstand, next. Tuesday, John Ritter and Three's a Crowd will move to 8, 7 Central. Come on down! Then Tony Danza and Who's the Boss moves to Tuesday. And don't you forget it. John Ritter, then Tony Danza. You could do that? Who's the boss after three's a crowd Tuesday? Horizon and coming to Chicago Stadium. Get your tickets now. The wheels. Hey, we've been waiting for you here on American Bandstand on a Saturday. This is the perfect place to be. Our special guests are a flock of seagulls who will be joining us today. Yes. And you'll have another chance to look at the dance contestants. Your next to last chance. More about that on American Bandstand. Well, today's the day you have your next to last look in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. Today and next week, and that's it. More about that in a minute or two. Here's John Cougar.
John Cougar opening up today's American Bandstand, to be followed by Steve Miller. about to meet on American Bandstand has been touring in the United States for several weeks, has another couple of months to go. There's something. Baca Seagulls is next, right after this. You like the front row seat? Can you see from there? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if not if everything is all right, huh? You saw these guys? Yeah, they were fantastic. What would really you like great. about them? Everything. I mean, they're the best dance band. I mean, you can just really dance to them. I, I think they're great. <laughs> well, you know, the interesting thing about them is they've gotten phenomenal reviews everywhere. I didn't realize they've been on the road for so long, and as of this date, they will have only about a month left. Uh, this is being done a few weeks before that. This is uh, what uh, happens in the summertime. We put them all together, but they're out there beating away at those one-nighters and just getting fantastic reviews. Big hit record. Ladies and gentlemen, a flock of seagulls.
Thank you, gentlemen, very much. This is Mike Score. Mike, if you would be so kind, please, as to introduce me to this gentleman and behind and then over. This is Frank. This is Frank Morgan. Frank, nice to have you with us. Thank you. Welcome. Behind us. This is my brother, Ali. Ali, nice to see you again. And over here. This is my close friend, Paul Reynolds. Hello, Paul. Nice to see you. Are they all from the neighborhood? From, uh, I don't know, they said that in England, uh, the neighborhood, what do they call everybody from the same area? I know what we call them, but... <laughs> <laughs> don't they? We call them Scousers. Scousers. No, I heard that when I was in Liverpool. Um, how I was confused over there. How long have you been traveling here? We've been in America about three and a half months now. So. Do, you, do you find, uh, this is a stupid question, because I think I know the answer, that we are terribly different from people back home? I think Americans are the best audience. The <laughs> The man is obviously a diplomat or a politician. Uh, this, is a, this is a more responsive audience than you find at home? Well, the Americans know how to enjoy themselves and have a good time. The English, you know, they do have a good time, but not as much, not into it. That's amazing. I mean, I, I have not heard that before. We were discussing the kind of music you make. You are into the, uh, the, the parapsychology of the world, UFOs and all of that. Is that the inspiration for the music, really? Basically, yeah. Uh, I mean, anything that's not real will inspire us. Or what, what was known to be real, you know. It's like, you just cannot prove they're real, so that's an inspiration. I have a library, Mike, that I've got to get to you people. It's about 18 feet long of all of the unexplained things that ever happened in the world. I mean, next time you're out traveling or on a train. No, it's fun stuff. Uh, what is the next song, please? Next song is a Space Age love song. Oh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, a flock of seagulls.
Well, it only costs 50 cents to vote in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. That's a telephone charge, but by golly, thousands of people have, and it's very close. Some of the couples are so close, they desperately need your vote. You'll uh, see that coming up shortly. I'll keep you posted on how to do it. In the meantime, this is the Gap Band. Gap Band here on American Bandstand. It's time to rate a couple of records. You may or may not have heard these. We'll ask our judges to rate them between 35 and 98. May I have your name and your age? Sarah, 14. Thank you. Michael, 14. This is real easy, folks. Real easy. Listen carefully. You don't have to like them. You don't have to hate them. Take a step back. Listen to this one, then rate it. It's called Video Games by Captain Video.
like that one. Oh, a 40, a 60, a 50. It didn't pass. Let's see what happens now. Take a step back. Rate this one by Illusion. Lay back in the groove. As Sarah and Mike didn't like the other one, they liked that one, 80, 80, 80. Let's find out why. What was better about this one versus the other one? Well, the other one, there's been so many songs about video games already, and this one's more original. Yep. And moves. Yep. That was the main thing. You just didn't like the premise of the other one, huh? You play electronic games? Not really. Huh? You? Yeah, I play a lot of other. And you still can't it. You gave it a 60. Why did you like this one? Well, I liked it. The lyrics were it was a nicer. It was a nicer sounding song. So you spend as much money on records as you do on video games. More money on video games. Uh, that's what's worrying the record people right now. All right, the highest rated record of the day is an 80 for Illusion. Lay back in the groove, and we have for you each some uh, nice prizes. West Bend Stir Crazy Automatic Corn Popper stirs itself to give a big, fluffy, great tasting popcorn. Six quarts at six minutes. TDK audio cassettes for rich, clean sound. TDK video cassettes for bright colors and sharp images. TDK leads the way in recording tape. New Rally Poly Sealant from DuPont. Guaranteed to outlast the leading dealer applied poly sealant. You may buy now and get a $2 rebate plus a portable auto tape carrier. And Kentucky Fried Chicken gift certificate checks and an insulated thermal bag to keep things fresh. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. Sarah, Mike, thank you very much. Don't run away. We'll be back with American Bandstand right after this.
that's REO Speedwagon, and this man has done it again. Another smash hit for Gary U.S. Bond. Coming up is your next to last chance to get a look at all six of the dance couples in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. The voting has been phenomenal. We got a horse race that's unbelievable. There are couples in there that are apart by uh, very, very few votes. You'll have a chance to voice your opinion by telephone. I'll tell you how right after we check out the prizes. All of our couples get pile driver speakers that can handle all the power you can dish out. For automobile, home stereo, or musical instruments, get the most for your money with quality American-made pile driver speakers. All dancers receive music to go car packs and strap packs. Cassette carriers that mount anywhere, go anywhere. Complete with Seco's laser UHD2 tapes. All our ladies receive a great selection of shoes from Kinney, the great American shoe store. Who can bring you all the latest styles at down-to-earth prices? Kinney can. All our guys receive body work, trim fitting slacks, sport coats, and jeans. Body work, don't wear it if you don't mean it. The fourth, fifth, and sixth place couples receive AMF Roadmaster 26-inch Pro Tour 10-speed racer bicycles. Both men's and women's models feature easy-reach dual stem shifters. All bikes exceed Consumer Product Safety Commission standards. They also receive Yamaha's PS20 electronic keyboard instrument with all the automatic playing features of many large organs. It's lightweight and portable, has built-in speaker, and operates on regular battery or electricity from Yamaha. Our third place couple will win a pair of Zenith System 3 color TV with computer space command remote control, tri-focus picture tube, multi-cable channel capability from Zenith. Our second place couple will each win a Kai stereo equipment. A Kai presents this superbly styled remote controllable component music system complete with amplifier, tuner, turntable, cassette deck, match speakers and decorator cabinet. Remember Akai, you never heard it so good. Our winners will each receive the 1982 Mazda GLC Sport. It's a sporty front wheel drive performer. The complete Mazda GLC Sport comes equipped with five speed transmission, tachometer, digital clock, and seal belted radial tires. The more you look at the finest economy cars in the world, the more you'll like the Mazda GLC Sport. It's waiting for you at Horizon Mazda, Lakewood, California. And there's one for the gentleman and one for the lady, and it's up to you to pick us a winner. You know the system by now, I'm sure this is your next to last chance. Today and next Saturday, make a note. Get a pencil, piece of paper, whatever you can write with, and write down 1-900-7207, and then leave those last three digits open. You'll fill it in with the number of the couple you like. You'll see that number written in the little circle on the right-hand side of the screen. It'll be either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Let's assume there were eight couples. If there was a number eight, you'd say one nine hundred seven two zero oh, seven. Then you'd go eight eight eight. In this case, it's one through six. You got it. Take a look. Review it. Please do it today or no later than next week. Once again, here's couple number one. Couple number one is Laura Gonzalez, Greg Butler. They are couple number one.
number one, Laura Gonzalez and Greg Butler, couple number one. Here comes couple number two, Cherie Ruffin and Dexter Mayfield, number two. Couple number two, Cherie Ruffins and Dexter Mayfield number two. On deck now number three, Mari Gibbs and Louis Cordero number three. Number three, Mari Gibbs and Louis Cordero. Couple number three coming up. Couple number four, Serenia Marie and Kevin Shaft. Number four. Kevin Schaaf, couple number four, coming up now, number five. Rhonda Buchanan and Fred Stanford, couple number five. Couple number five, Rhonda Buchanan and Fred Stanford. Up next, couple number six, Bob and Rosen, Greg Klein, couple number six. Number six, Robin Rosen and Craig Klein. You've seen them all the last day. You'll see them is next Saturday. Next Saturday's the last time. Here they all are. They're all the numbers. What you gotta remember is to dial 1-900-7207 and then follow that with the number of the couple you want three times, just like it's listed there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the circles over there are the numbers of the couples. To the left of that is the number you call to vote. Vote once, there's a 50 cent telephone charge. Those couples in there are racing so closely, they need your vote. The telephones will be open for the next hour, including after we go off the air.
The magic touch of Stevie Wonder closing up today's American Bandstand with Do I Do? Here is Stevie. Thanks to a flock of seagulls for joining us today on American Bandstand. Next week, Loverboy returns. And boy, have good things been happening to them since they were last here. Don't forget to vote in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. Those are the numbers. Today was the next of the last day. Next Saturday is the last time you'll see the couples. Let us hear from you. We'll see you next week for now, Dick Clark. We're going hopping. We're going hopping. Hey, we're going to the We're going to drop it on all the music they play on the bandstand. Tonight's Slater's team goes undercover to break up a gang of gun-happy bandits on today's FBI. And aboard the love boat, Doc plunges into marriage for the fifth time, but finds he has a rival for his new wife's affections. Then on Fantasy Island, a woman who gets her memory back learns she may have one love too many. Tonight on ABC. We're going hopping, we're going hopping today, we think of hopping, the Philadelphia swing, we're going to drop it, I'll open you to that play on the bay.